This video is going to look at printing and how to use the Google Cloud Print service. Printing, in particularly with an iPad, is quite problematic if you haven't got the right printer. Uh, so with iOS, you need to have an AirPrint compatible printer to use the printing uh, as it is natively in an iOS. And, and not everyone has one of those. And, this page gives you a, a long list of, of compatible printers. So if you're buying a new printer, you might buy one of those. But uh, what if you don't have one of those? There is now that well, I've just discovered, actually, Google Cloud Print. And that allows you to connect an older classic printer and print through Google Cloud Print servers in, in, into your own printer, or you can actually connect a cloud-ready printer, and they have you know, a few of them here. So, for example, I've got an Epson printer, and that one is a cloud-ready printer, so it's a pretty simple matter of just connecting that to the Google Print um, server. But I also have an older printer. I have a laser printer, a Fuji laser printer, which is uh, considered a classic printer, which I cannot use on the iPad. And um, this solution seems to work for uh, iOS and for Android. There are Android apps as well. Now, how it works, it essentially uses uh, Chrome. You need to have Chrome browser installed on the computer. That has the computer that has the printer connected to it. So if you've got a, a computer with a USB printer connected to it, then you need to install Chrome on that computer in order to set up Google Cloud Print. Uh, if you're using the uh, an iPhone, an iPhone 4 or an iPhone 5 or an iPad, then you need to download the mobile Chrome browser because that allows the Google Print server to recognize your device. Uh, there are some apps. There is a, an actual iOS app that I've discovered, which doesn't actually appear in the Google um, instructions. So if you actually want an iOS app that works on the iPad, uh, it costs 99 cents, and it's called iGoogle Cloud Print, and I'll demonstrate how that works a little bit later. But that's about the only one I've seen. The only other uh, app that uh, Google is is suggesting supported apps for the iOS, and I mean, they haven't updated their, uh, their list here. There are a lot of Android ones, so if you've got an Android phone or an Android tablet, there are a number of, of apps that will allow you to print to Google Cloud Print, uh, and I haven't tried any of those, and I'm not sure if they cost anything, because I'm sort of concentrating on the iPad. On the iOS, this is the one they suggest, but that one costs uh, quite a lot of money. And I um, really didn't want to spend that much money just to be able to print. And so the one I found here, just by going into the App Store and Googling, uh, no, in, in, in uh, searching for I, uh, Google Cloud Print, there were a number of options. This is the one that came up, so I'll show you how to use it. So first thing, you need to have Chrome installed on your browser. Now I have. This is a Mac. It work, you can get Chrome for Windows. You can get Chrome for Mac. And uh, you can still keep your Internet Explorer if you're on a Windows machine. You can still use Safari. Uh, Chrome does not have to be your default browser. It's just an additional browser. It so happens that that's the main browser that I use for everything. So you need to install that one. So I'm on, I'm on uh, Chrome now on a Mac, and this is what you need to do to connect your printer to Google Print. Uh, into the, the settings, so it's on the, the top right here, these three horizontal lines into the settings and then into the bottom show advanced settings and go down to the bottom where Google Cloud Print is there and add printers. Now this presumes that the computer that you've got Chrome on is connected to the USB printer that you want to add. Now, any network printers that you have will, will um, also be connected. You don't even have to do anything about them. They'll just appear in the uh, printer list. But initially, all you've got to do is just click that Add Printers and Manage Your Printers to see what you actually have. 
and it and it's done it automatically. These are the two printers here. These two. This is the. Uh, no, it's the same one actually. This is the Fuji here. That one. And this one is a network printer, so it's not actually connected by USB port to this computer that I'm on, which is, which is a wireless laptop. But because I'm logged in on my network, it's just found it and it's added it. Unless I know the IP address, I'm not going to know what that printer is. And there should be a rename. I click on that there and rename it. And instead of calling it by its IP address, I might just call it the Fuji, the Fuji Laser, and rename it. And that's one of my classic printers and uh, I'm not sure what that one is so it's the same IP address so I think I'd probably delete that one don't need two of them now the other three there there's the iPad and the iPhone and the Nexus 7 which is the Android and they appear there because I have installed on each of those devices mobile uh, Google Chrome browser um, what you probably need to do is is make a, a bookmark or add as a favourite the the Google the Google Cloud Print um, dialog box here. So particularly this this printer management thing, so you can see all the different uh, printers that you can print to, or the different devices that can you can print to. It also gives you print jobs um, printers. So save that as a, as a bookmark, and I'm going to do that on the mobile devices as well, just so I can sort of see which ones I have. But how do you print? Uh, if this has all gone well, then you should have uh, your printers connected to Google Prints. USB printer, which is the classic printer, as long as it's connected to the computer that has Chrome and that you're logged in to as a user, and your computer would need to be on uh, if you wanted to print something as, as per normal. If you've got a USB printer, nothing's going to print if your computer's off. But if you are printing from uh, you know outside somewhere, you're at work and you wanted to print to your printer at, at home, if your computer was off, it would just save uh, stay in the queue uh, in the in the in the servers at Google until your printer comes online and then it will print. Uh, but to print. Now you don't have to be in the Google Chrome browser to print anything on a computer. Uh, this is Safari. I'm on Safari in the Mac, and I can go to Google Cloud Print and print uh, anything that's on my computer, or could be on a, someone else's, a friend's computer, and print it to one of my printers that's connected. Uh, in Safari, you just go to google.com forward slash cloud print. And select printers, and, and they're all the printers that I have registered, and I registered them in the Chrome browser, which we did before. And if I want to print something, I can click print there, and then I can upload a file to print. So from the computer I'm on, pick a, a, a might just pick a, a picture, and decide where I want that one to go. So I'd like that one to be printed onto that computer, uh, that printer. I've got some of the options on the printer I can select before I print it. So some of the actual options coming from that actual printer and then print. That creates the job, adds the job, and it will print it because that printer happens to be online. So the, the advantage of this is that you could be somewhere else, not at home, but you've got access to a computer uh, and you've got a file, maybe you're at work or at school, You've created a document, you've saved it on the computer, and you want to print it so that it's ready for you when you get home. You can use any browser to print that job. The uh, next thing we'll look at is how do we actually print on the iPad. Because it's a Google service, what you need to print is one of the Google apps. So if you're on an iPhone, uh, whichever version, or an iPad, then you need to have. A Gmail app and you can print your mail messages. Uh, if you have Google Drive or Google Docs, because you can print Google Docs, you know, any of those documents from Google Docs, you can you can print to a Google Print. Uh, you can't print something that's on Safari, for example, a web page on Safari. It's not going to work. It has to be a Google mobile application. Uh, 
if you have a Google Drive app, you have as part of Google Drive, let's close that, Google Docs, and it will allow you to, so I'm in my Google Drive here, I've logged into my Google account, I'm in my Google Drive, by hitting the plus, I can create a new document, and it may, similar to a Word document, test document, and create it. And then I can edit it and do whatever I want with it and uh, test doc and done. So I can edit that. It's going to sit up in my Google Drive. Close. And if I want to print it, so I've done a couple there. So if I want to print that one, I need to select it. Select the document. But it's I don't think I can print it from the Google Drive app. There is no way that I can find how to print this to a Google print server. There's nothing I can find unless I'm missing something. So if you had a Google Doc document that you wanted to print, you can do it from the um, Chrome browser. So I could go into Chrome and just go to Google Docs. I will do this again. I'll close it and do it again. So adding a new tab, uh, I want to go to Google Docs. I'm doing this in the mobile Chrome browser instead of the Google Drive. So it's going to take me to my Google Drive anyway. That offers me the, opp the opportunity to download the Google Drive app, which I've already got, which isn't going to help me here. And then I'll come up with, these are this is my uh, Google, Google Docs online, my Google Drive online, all the documents that I've got up there. And there's my test document. So I can select test document from here. And there's an actions button that will allow me, if I hold that, to print. And this is going to use one of my Google Cloud print printers. So I can say I want it to go to my Fuji printer. And there's a print button there to print. Before that, I have some options there. I can change some of the, the options on the actual printer, which I won't do, and print. Now that is creating a new print job. It's adding it to the actual queue. And because that printer is online, because it's a, a network printer, it's gone to that printer. Uh, so any Google Doc, you can print from the Chrome browser. Uh, or if, you, if you're on the iOS, you can download an app called GWiz, which has every possible Google application. Because it's free, it's got all these rubbishy ads with it. But it's got Gmail, Facebook, it's got every possible Google application. So if I wanted to go into go into more and find docs, I could get into Google Docs from here. It gives me the same thing. It's just it's just like going onto the um, internet. And so instead of going through the Chrome browser, I can just use that GWiz app and it would give me the same options. Uh, if I wanted to print my mail, there's a as part of GWiz, there's a Gmail um, tab. You can also have the Gmail app. Let's go back to mail. Um, a mail message. So here's a mail message there that has an attached PDF. And if I want to print that, and I'm using the Gmail app, I can print. And it, again, will take me to my Google Print printers. And I can, again, select, select the same one, the Fuji one, and print it. Creates the job. That's queued, print job added, print it, and go back to the mail. So as long as you're using Gmail or you're using Google Docs, you're going to be able to print things to a Google printer. Now, Google Cloud Prints will only print um, documents from a, from a Gmail app, mobile Gmail app, or from uh, Chrome. In, and it has to be a Google Doc. So if you've got anything else, like you want to print a PDF or a Pages document or some, some sort of Word document, then this is where you're going to need the mobile app. So the app to download for the iOS, which is 99 cents, is called iCloud Print. And when you open it, it simply just gives you some instructions. Launch the app that you want to print from. And that's all you've got to do. So it doesn't really help that, does it? So.
So if I have a PDF, so I've got a PDF and it's been saved into Adobe Reader. And I can go back to the, the documents. The iPad apps, that's the document I want to print. To print it, I go up to the, to the uh, sharing button and I don't select print document because that's going to search for an Air Print compatible printer. I need to do open in and search for the app iCloud Print. There it is there. Open it in iCloud Print. And a big button, print now. And that's going to connect me to the Google Print um, services and the printers that I've got connected. So uh, again, I've just got to connect select the printer. I want to print it to the Fuji. And again, I get my prints, creating the print job, adding it to the queue and printing it. Done. Because the print is online, that's, that's all there is to using that particular app. The iCloud Prints app, find it again. To use it, you just simply select the document you want to print, go to the sharing button and print it. So if we're looking to print perhaps a pages document and I've got a Word document in there or a document that I've imported from Word and I want to print this one. So I need to go to the share and print. Open in another app because I don't want to print it. If I select print, it's going to look for an air print compatible printer. Open in another print in another app. Uh, choose the format I want this document to be saved as. So I'm going to uh, save it as a Word document. Could have saved it as a, as a PDF. Choose the app and then find the cloud print. There it is. And again, it's going to take me to that web page where I can click print now. Select the printer, hit the print button, creates the job, adds the job, prints it. Done. And that's the uh, the app that uh, is available for 99 cents. And that app together with, let's go back to it, the iCloud print together with the mobile Google apps like Chrome and Gmail and GWiz and Google Drive will let you print anything. 